Welcome to Share My Lesson. In this video, I'm going to discuss the AMC 2022 Upper Primary Exam Solutions. If you don't have the exam paper, you can download it from the AMT website. Please check the description below to find more information. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button below and join us on this mathematical journey. Let's move on to the questions. The number 205,150 can be written as 2, 0, 5, 1, 5, and 0. So the answer is E. This is a 3 by 3 square. There are 9 small squares of equal size. 4 are shaded. So the fraction is 4 out of 9. This means that the answer is D. We can complete the subtraction, which gives the number 198. So the answer is C. The smallest number is 0 0.08, the largest number is 1.03, and the second largest is 0 0.4. So she wrote down 0 0.08 first, and then 0 0.4, and finally 1.03. This means that the answer is B. When my brother's age was 3, my age is 7. There is an age difference of 4 years. When my brother is 7, the age difference would still be 4. So 7 plus 4 is 11. This means that the answer is C. As you can see, there are 12 out of 29 squares that have 3 edges on the perimeter. There are 12 of these squares, so we can multiply 12 by 3, which gives us 36 centimeters. There are also 4 squares that have 2 opposite edges on the perimeter, which gives us 8 centimeters. Finally, there are four squares that have two adjacent edges on the perimeter, which gives us another eight centimeters. We can add all of these up to get a perimeter of 52 centimeters. So the answer is A. The tick marks between the dial divide each section into five parts, each measuring 
one fifth or zero point two. So the needle is pointing at two point four. Since this is in thousands of RPM, it represents 2.4 times 1000, which is 2400 RPM. So this means that the answer is E. One liter is equivalent to 1000 milliliters. We can subtract 320 from 1000, which gives us 680 milliliters left. So the answer is C. Rectangle P has an area of 2 times 12 or 24 centimeters squared. Rectangle Q has an area of 3 times 8, which is 24 centimeters squared. Rectangle S has an area of 1 times 24 or 24 centimeters squared. Rectangle R also has an area of 24 centimeters squared. All of these rectangles have an area of 24 square centimeters. So the answer is E. When we add the times taken for showering, getting dressed, having breakfast, brushing your teeth and walking to school, you get a sum of 80 minutes or one hour and 20 minutes. You can subtract this from 8.55 and you get a time of 7.35 a.m. So the answer is A. We need to find the spinner which has twice as many red sections as white sections. The fourth spinner has four red sections and two white sections, which is the only one that works. So the answer is D. Let's draw a diagram to illustrate how Clement walks. He goes three units forwards and two units back many times. As you can see, he passes the point 4.5 a total of five times. So the answer is A. The missing unit digit must be a 6 to give a sum of 11. So including the carry, the tenth digit adds to 14, which means the missing digit must again be 6 to give a sum of 20. In the hundreds column, we now have a carry of 2, so the sum would be 5. So the missing number must be 5 in order to get zero and a carry of one. The missing numbers are six, six, and five. We can add them together to get a sum of 17. So the answer is D.
In the original stack, the yellow triangle is on top of the blue square and under the red circle. So in the flipped stack, the yellow triangle will be under the blue square and on top of the red circle. Only A and C have this. Considering the position of the three shapes, the blue square is originally on the right side of the arrangement, so it will be on the left side when flipped. Only A has all the shapes in the correct positions, so the answer is A. Two seventy divided by forty five is six. We can multiply fifteen by six, which is a product of ninety. This gives us the top number, so the answer is D. The smaller square has an area of 9, so each side is 3 centimeters. The larger square has a perimeter of 32 centimeters, so each side is 8 centimeters. The medium sized square has a side length of 8 minus 3, which is 5 centimeters, so the perimeter is 5 times 4, which is 20 centimeters. So the answer is C. Let M represent how many marbles were originally in the bag. After May takes out one third of them, two M out of three remains. After Hong takes half of those, 2m over 6 or m over 3 remains. m over 3 is equal to 8 marbles, so m must equal to 24. So the answer is D. smallest possible sum of eight different numbers are the numbers one through to eight. Let's draw a diagram that shows how to place these eight numbers so that no two joined by an edge have a difference of one. The sum is 36, so the answer is A. The sum of all the grandchildren's ages are 66, and the grandfather's age is 78. After X years, the total of all the grandchildren's ages are 66 plus 3x. This is equal to the grandfather's age after x years, which can be represented as 78 plus x. We get an equation where 66 plus 3x is equal to 78 plus x. Solving this equation, we get that x is equal to 6 which means the answer is B. To calculate the number of TVs, we can multiply the number of TVs 
or the number of students. In the first column, there is one student who has no TVs, and that has no value. In the second column, there are three students with one TV each. That gives a total of three. In the second, there are four students, each with a number of two TVs. So they have eight TVs altogether. We can calculate the rest of the columns by multiplying the number of TV by the number of students. By adding all of the TVs together, we get a sum of 91. So the answer is C. There are 70 boys. Six of them are prize winners. There are 80 girls and 15% of them are prize winners. 15% of 80 is 12. Altogether, there are 18 students who are prize winners. To calculate the percentage, we have to divide 18 by the total number of students which is 150, and multiply by 100. This gives us a percentage of 12. So the answer is B. Take A. As an example, if you rotate it 180 degrees, and reflect it, it will not look the same. Let's take B. If you rotate it 180 degrees, and reflect it, it looks the same. We notice that all the letters that are rotated 180 degrees and are reflected and look the same at its previous form, they all have a horizontal line of symmetry. There are a total of nine letters that have this property. So the answer is E. For each class, the 1000 students require 1000 divided by 25, which is 40 teachers. There are six classes, so the students will need 40 multiplied by 6, which is 240 teacher classes. Each teacher teaches only five classes each day. So we need 240 divided by 5, which is 48 teachers. So the answer is B. There will be 6 starting with P, then 6 starting with Q, and 6 starting with R. So the 19th will be the first one starting with S. This is S, P, Q, R. So the answer is A.
To resolve this question, we can allocate the unknown values as A, B, C, D, and E. Since each line adds up to 40, let's write an equation to find A. A is equal to 16. Since we know that A is equal to 16 and B is equal to 7, we can calculate the total value. Since each line adds up to 40 and there are 5 lines, we can multiply 40 by 5, which gives us 200. However, we count each number twice, so we have to divide it by 2, which gives us 100. The total value of all the numbers we know is 64. This means that D plus C plus E is 36. Let's write another equation. D plus C plus 7 plus 9 is 40. So D plus C is 24. This means that E is equal to 36 minus 24, which is 12. We can substitute 12 for E. This means that D is 5 and C is 19. The largest number used is 19, so the answer is E. In this question, we can write a number sequence. The first number would be 1, the second number would be 6, the third number 16, the fourth 36, the fifth 76, and the sixth number would be 156. The sixth number is 56 because we exclude the hundreds digit. The seventh number will be 16. Let's complete the number sequence and remember to exclude the hundreds digit. As shown on the screen, there is a cycle of the four numbers 16, 36, 76 and 56. So the entire number sequence is a cycle of these four numbers, except for the first two digits. We can subtract 2 from 2022 and divide it by 4. Two thousand twenty is divisible by four. There are five hundred and five complete cycles of the four numbers sixteen, thirty six, seventy six, and fifty six. So the two thousand and twenty second term would be fifty six. Let's complete the whole chocolate cake. Each side has a 9x9 nine nine arrangement, which is 81 dots per side. There are only 5 sides because we exclude the bottom face. We can multiply 81 by 5, which gives us a total of 405 dots.
The numbers to choose from are the odd numbers from 1 to 105. The smallest sum possible is 1 plus 3 plus 5, which is 9. And the largest is 101 plus 103 plus 105, which is 309. And each sum of the three odd numbers must be odd. We get a number series which starts with 9 and ends in 309. And each term being two more than its previous one. There are 151 terms in this series, so the answer is 151. Let the Albury sprinters be A, B, C, D and E. We need to choose two of these and we have the following combinations AB, AC, AD, AE, DC, BD, BE, CD, CE and DE. This gives you a total of 10 combinations. In a similar way, we find that there are 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus one, which is 15 combinations for the Wodonga pair. Each of the 10 Albury combinations can be combined with each of the 15 Wodonga combinations. So we have 10 multiplied by 15, which is 150 ways to choose the team. We can mark each side of the net with the letters A, B and C. From this, we get three equations. A plus B is equal to 12. A plus C is 16. And B plus C is 10. Let's subtract equation 2 by equation 3. This gives us a minus b is equal to 6. Let's call this equation 4. We can add equation 4 to equation 1. So 2a is equal to 18 and a is equal to 9. Substituting a for 9, we know that b is 3 and c is 7. So the volume is 9 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7, which is 100 and 89 centimeters cubed. We have now completed the 2022 Apple Primary Solutions. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and share this video with people you think would benefit from it. And we'll see you next time with a new video.